morning and welcome to Friday. It's Friday today. Uh, we are going to be going down for breakfast at the hotel we're in and then we are going to take the bus to the park. Woo! Um, we are going into studios this morning because there's a few rides in there we want to do but because we have such a limited time we're not going to be spending a whole day in there. Uh, we will on our next trip probably be spending a day or at least half a day in there but this time around it just doesn't suit what we want to do. Very brief breakfast review. We've come back to the room because we had more time than we thought we would, which is fine. Um, but it's a pretty bog standard continental buffet. They have pan au chocolat, they have uh, croissants, they have cereal, they have a little bit of cooked, a little bit of those pancakes you can cook yourself. I would not say it's worth 20 euros each. Like the breakfast at Disney is 25, I think. Um, and you get like Mickey waffles and all that jazz. So maybe it's just a st standard for this area, but I just think it's a bit much. Hour of terror. Oh, apparently the music agrees to with me that this is an intense experience. Yeah, so the first time Zoe took me on Tower of Terror, <laughs> she didn't tell me what it was, and I didn't know what it was. And it's a drop ride. So if you don't like drop rides, you won't like this. I'm gonna go on this. I can't record because it's a drop ride and that would be stupid. And we'll see you on the other side. Can confirm Tower of Terror still terrifying. Um, I want to find a 30th anniversary key ring. I've wanted to find one for like a year, uh, pretty much. But yeah, we, we, we did the thing. My hair is floofy. The people in front of us put their arms up for the photo. So we can't see ourselves in it. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, and then I think the plan is now to go get more water because we drank all of it and go on web. Oh, so there's going to be someone meeting here, looks like it. It's usually Ant-Man and or the Wasp. To be fair, it might be the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I doubt it. They do occasionally pop up. So I know that it says open house in English. It says open doors, right? In French? Yeah. I guess that's just what they call it. Yeah, it's like, you know, you've got an open door policy. Yeah. I wonder if... Yeah, come in. I know we're not going to go to Pim because we've got quite a big dinner coming, yeah. but it, it's, it doesn't look too busy in there. Web was reasonable. I'd give it a two out of three, and the reason I'd give it two out of three is because that's how many screens were working. Uh, the, there's three screens and the third one is destroying the giant spider bot and it just wasn't working at all. So we didn't get any points for that, but I won, so that's that's what's important, right? Yes, no, it's not... 20,000 Yeah. I mean, it is a collaborative effort, but... There is still a winner. I won. Yeah. <laughs> Do not climb on the Buzz Lightyear. Go, parachute, go. Yeah. <laughs> Never been on that, do not care to go on it. It looks like it's just Tower of Terror, but in the open. Yeah, I like it and being in close. Particularly want to do that. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this is the like, yeah, this the rendezvous gourmand. So it's the like, here's France in food. <laughs> so you got the wine bar. We love a wine bar. I don't drink, but we love a wine bar nonetheless. Um, though I don't like the smell of a wine bar. Um, little snacks. What is on the menu of the place for little snacks, I think, is pretty much. Oh, so you got salad, sandwiches. That's not bad. That's a new one, that one. Yeah. I like that as like a concept. It's a nice like normal selection. Yes, yeah, so and I think I think the idea is it's supposed to be like lunch. Yeah, they're little breakfast, little food. Yeah, well they're not full size here. No. Oh, oh bonbon, bon, yeah, that's sweet. Candy apple, caramel peanuts, macarons. Yeah. Uh, chocolate coated strawberry skewers. That oh, oh, I might go for that. What? The skewer. And they have the uh, chocolate marshmallows as well. 
What do you want? They're strawberries. They're strawberries, yeah. So, we're going on Remy. We've just eaten some chocolate coated strawberries. They were very tasty. Not sure if they were six euros tasty, but they were a nice little sweet treat before going on a 3D ride, which again, not going to film a 3D ride. Completely pointless. Unless the 3D's not working. We'll see. You can have Chip or Dale, no. not both. <laughs> I like the Baymax small though. Oh dear, Alice in Wonderland. Which of these, oh, I'm assuming it's the middle spout is the real spout. I feel like this would just be a very cumbersome, oh, no, it's not too bad. It's not quite an assassin's teapot though. Oh, this is cute, the casserole dish. Is it a casserole dish? Oh yeah, that's definitely a casserole dish, just from the weight. Maybe don't drop it. Yeah, they're made of um, quite heavy bakeware. Is it like the, the Crusoe stuff? Yeah. I also like these goblets. They're glass though. But they've got like golden mickeys yeah, yeah. and stuff on them, which is quite cute. Like if I needed, and if I ate casserole, <laughs> and didn't already have a thing in which I can make casserole. Yeah, true. My dad bought me like a single person casserole dish. And I'm like, but I don't eat casserole. The thought is there though, the thought is there. See, the back of the Tower of Terror looks a little bit Star Wars-y, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it's just the colour of brick. Makes me think of like the Andor series. Oh, you know what? I still like the smell of popcorn very much. I said I like the smell of popcorn very much. Yeah. I also like that they just have the stitch. Like, I don't know. Oh, they do just do the bonbons as well. That's nice. I'm trying to work out where we are. I think that's where the exit used to come out for yeah. Avengers. Went to, but yeah, they've put Belgium over here. Yeah. There's, um, oh, there's a pizza over there. All right, okay. So it is worldwide. I always forget that. But yes, Tower of Terror. Oh, so they've sort of tucked them in. Okay, Greece. Um, bubbles, so many bubbles. Oh, is that just, is that just alcohol? Nice. Uh, Spain, Asia, the entire continent. Mildly curious about Asia, to be fair. I'm kind of curious about what they have in the Asia one. I'm going to have a quick look. Ooh, they have churros. We love churros. So what do they offer? So Asia, oh, they've gone for the, oh my God. Okay. So yeah, it's Asia-ish. Cool. So they've gone for the entire continent of Asia, both West and East in one booth. They have got churros, they look all right. I think I'm a bit spoiled. In fairness, the first time I tried churros properly was in Spain. And I feel like, like, nothing will ever be quite the same but yeah you've got ten so the top two so you've got i'm assuming the top one is like chinese then you've got yeah, india, india then you've too. got japan yeah. then you've got japan 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 america because california rolls are not japanese and then you've got asahi which is also japanese yeah. and there's italy oh, it's i love this one they've got on it is cute. I like the different like foods you can get. Yeah. And I like that we went yes. Strawberries covered in chocolate. So pizza, cheese, pizza, chocolate bombolini, cannoli. Ooh. Wine, wine, wine. Coffee. And coffee. Fair enough, Italy, fair enough. There is no information about the show that is going on. <laughs> on the app at all because I was like it, I think it's a bit like you know when the um, Thor and Loki turn up oh, yeah. in that it just turns up 
So that's quite nice. Um, did have a minor moment of fear a minute ago where I thought I'd lost my phone. It's fine. I had not lost my phone. It was just not where we thought it was. So we're gonna leave Studio Park for this trip and then head, oh, not walking into children, and then head to the main park. So this is the new Little Mermaid stuff. So this is where they're hiding it. Well, not hiding it, keeping it. Oh, I saw someone wearing that t-shirt. I didn't know it was Ariel. I mean, now you do. I'm gonna send that to Matt as well because he said any Little Mermaid stuff. The mugs are cute. I'm still not sure about Flounder. No. I do like him better in like this depiction of him. Yeah. Because he does just look like a fish. Flounder's but, meant to be but the hyper realistic is a bit weird. Hmm. Oh, that's cute though. Like the back of that jacket. Mm. So, how much is this spirit jersey? 75 euros. Are these glass? Oh no, these are plastic. And they're 20 euros, which is not awful. No, but I'd want it to have a straw. Is this oh. actually. Is it, it looks like a pasta pot, and I know it's not, but that's like. <laughs> it's so big. How many mils are you? You don't say. Hmm. Enough mills, basically. I'm kind of glad we're coming in October because I want to see Jack again. That's Skellington. I mean, I haven't seen him kicking around for a while either. I wouldn't object to seeing Jack Sparrow. It would be nice if he popped into his restaurant every so often. He does have a restaurant, you know. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> oh, that's a hell of a breeze. So yeah, that is one of my favourite spots for the parade. What is? Near Discovery Arcade, over there. Because yeah, yeah, you only catch the end, but you don't have to deal with the crowd as much. Because no. you're already in it. No. Plaza Gardens. So, Plaza Gardens do character breakfast and dinner. From next week, I think, Zoe? Auberge is also going to be doing breakfast again. Right. Yeah. Um, I think at the moment it is available but only for hotel guests. Yeah. But for like um, non-hotel guests, it will be bookable three days prior, like that is. Yeah. Which is fine. I imagine it's very pricey though. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I have noise. Good. This pleases me greatly. You are now to the left. I don't know if I'm necessarily doing very well here. I feel like I'm not shooting anything. shoot anything for some reason. Because you're on the wrong side. No, but like, I'm literally getting it, but it's not registering. Feel 
on these sites. I'm not doing well. Attention, Ranger de l'Espace. Vos pas. Attention, Ranger de l'Espace. Vos premières stations vont redémarrer. Attention, Space Rangers. Your space cruises will now be restarted. It's making the noises, but I don't seem to be hitting anything. Well, do this and it should be up against your hand. It is doing it. It's making the light, but I'm not, like, getting any point. Is it weird? I'm getting like. I'm getting, I've got a hundred just there. Yeah. But I don't know what I'm hitting. His arm. Ever gotten. Constellations. I just love that Buzz is just standing proud as you enter. Huh? Buzz. To Main Street. Oh, nice. They have the toys from the film but yeah we're gonna head on phantom manor because we haven't done that yet and honestly we just kind of want to go on a few rides that aren't in fantasy land because we mostly did fantasy land yesterday which was fine because it means that we now don't need to do anything in fantasy land today or tomorrow not that we won't we might but also yeah there's so much under refurbishment at the moment it's kind of ridiculous like, Lucky Nugget is under refurbishment. The, um, the Spanish place, they're turning it into Coco. That one over there, I forgot what it's called. Fuente de Loro. It's not even Spanish, it's Mexican. <laughs> yeah, there's just a lot that's closed, which is a bit weird. But equally, the park is still somehow busy, so 
There we go. Did you just get ballooned? Oh no. Oh, it's a walk on. Nice. taking you to visit the graveyard but like many other things on this trip it's under refurbishment there might be a theme here so this is for context may half term for england pretty much the whole country um there are some countries that have so there are some bits of the country that have um different half terms but this is one of them um Thunder Mountain might be broken. We, we may not be going on Thunder Mountain. Because the floodlights are on and the roller coaster doesn't seem to be. Hmm. I mean, there's worse views. This is still my favorite way to like approach this ride. Like, just from the cannons. Because it looks like you're approaching a ship, sort of. <laughs> mm. Love Pirates as a ride. There was someone, two boats in front of us, I think it was, who just kept using flash photography. And I'm like, take photos. They don't stop you taking photos and recording on that ride. It's a dark ride. Your tiny little LED is going to do nothing.
Yeah, this is the thing we mentioned last night. I, don't, I was not recording then. <laughs> They've sold these little shiny Eiffel Towers. This is a tradition. It's a Parisian thing where you go through Paris and there's these guys with little mats and they have just a heck ton of Eiffel Towers and they're a euro for the key rings. I think they are a euro for the statues and the key rings when we used, when we bought them. I think it was like 50 cents or there was like three for a euro or something along those lines. Yeah, we, we did because I think we went to a cheaper seller. Um, and basically, they're the only thing inflation has not made more expensive because they're still a euro. Which makes you wonder how cheaply they buy them for. As it is heckin' late, and we're heading back to the hotel, what I'm gonna say is good night. We'll see you in the morning, as per usual. If you've somehow enjoyed this vlog, if you've somewhat enjoyed this vlog, is the word I meant, please do the liking, subbing, commenting, sharing, all that lovely good stuff. And we'll see you when we're a bit less tired, hypothetically, and a bit more daytimey, definitely. Bye!